So how do you find your lower abdominal muscles? It's really, really important that you find these deep core muscles to retain stability in the pelvis and strength in the core so that you can go about your daily life with ease. But sometimes they can be quite hard to feel, especially if we've had several pregnancies or you've had a C-section. These muscles may feel like they are not there, but they are there somewhere. So I'm gonna walk you through a few exercises so that you can start to try and feel those muscles and then you can apply this whenever you're doing an abdominal workout. So we're gonna start by lying down, knees bent, feet flat on the floor and a neutral pelvis. So you're not gonna tuck, or tilt the pelvis, you're gonna keep it neutral so that you've got that little gap underneath. Take the hands and place them on your hip bones and relax. And you're gonna take some deep breaths in this position. So through the rib cage, breath in, and feel the rib cage expand, and exhale, and feel the rib cage compress. And again, nice deep breaths. And as you do so, also feeling the breath, breathing the lungs through into the mat as well. So you can feel the breath in the body. You can feel the diaphragm moving up and down here. And now we're going to go again. This time, as you exhale, you're going to try and collect all the muscles that are underneath your belly button. So if you imagine all the muscles below the belly button and between the hip bones, when you inhale, the diaphragm moves down. When you exhale, you're going to pull those muscles in together and you're gonna pull them towards your back. So you're gonna collect those muscles, pulling up the pelvic floor to meet them as well. So deep breath in and then exhale and feel those muscles collect. You can take your hand and place it on those lower abdominal muscles and try again. So deep breath in. And then as you exhale, pulling the muscles in so you can feel them pulling away from your hand that's here. So they're pulling down and away. This does take a little bit of practice, um, but try again. Deep breath in. And then exhale and pulling the muscles away without any clenching of the bottom or any tucking of the pelvis. You need to try and independently move those muscles. And there are a couple of things you can use to help you with the imagery of that. Um, some people talk about um, imagining your ovaries lifting. I don't really like that one for some reason. The one that has always worked for me and that I use with all my clients, imagine if you have a fish hook inside, which is horrible, and the fish hook has hold of those lower abdominal, abdom, uh, abdominal muscles and it's pulling them back towards your spine and up behind your belly button. So again, think about drawing the hips together, the hip bones coming closer together, anything that works for you to try and isolate those muscles without any squeezing of the bottom or any tucking of the pelvis to try and locate those muscles. The more and more and more you practice those exercises, you will start to locate them and then you will start to be able to use them in any abdominal exercise that you do. And when those muscles start to strengthen, you get a lot more stability in the core and it does start to alleviate any back discomfort as well. Um, comment below if you have tried out these exercises and let me know whether you managed to find your lower abdominals or not. Um, and if you think this would be of benefit to anyone you know, please share the video with them.